In this lesson, we're going to look at another rate that we want to convert into a rate that has different units. So we have $6 per pound, and we want to turn that into cents per ounce. So again, we need to make sure this gets set up in a way that's useful for our unit conversion factor method of conversion. So we've got $6 per pound. You could put one pound here if you want, but the important part is dollars on top, pounds on bottom. So again, remember from our miles per hour to feet per second video that we just focus on one unit at a time. So let's just worry about the dollars to cents right now. All right, so what do we know about dollars and cents? Well, what we know is that there are 100 cents in one dollar. Okay. A quick note is make sure you, whenever you're working with dollars and cents, you put the cents unit and the dollar unit in the correct place. Dollars always come before the number, cents always come after the number. So just remember that distinction, don't, don't mix those up. Uh, but at any rate, we understand because dollars are on top uh, up here and we want to get rid of them, we need to put them on the bottom of the conversion factor and then the cents of course would need to be on top. So one dollar is equal to 100 cents. So that allows us to convert from dollars to cents. And now we can focus on taking pounds to ounces. So what do we know about pounds and ounces? Well, we go and look it up if we need to. There are 16 ounces in one pound. So we'll use that. Because pounds are on the bottom of the original rate, and I want to get rid of them, pounds better go on top of our conversion factor, and ounces should go on bottom. So that's one pound on top, 16 ounces on bottom. And that gets us to the units we want. So we have cents per ounce. So the only thing left here is to do the arithmetic. I think it makes sense to do a little bit of reducing here. 100 divided by four is 25. 16 divided by four is four. And then six and four are both even numbers, so might as well divide each of those by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So on the top there, what we have is 3 times 25, which is 75. And on bottom, 1 times 2 is 2. So that's going to be 75 cents per 2 ounces. But of course we need to go ahead and either write this as a mixed number or write it as a decimal. Because I'm dividing by 2, I know I always get a nice decimal when I do that. So let's just go ahead and get an answer as a decimal. So 75 divided by 2. 2 goes into 7 3 times. 3 times 2 is 6. Drop down our 5. 2 goes into 15 7 times. Get a remainder of one, and then we'll keep going since we're gonna get a decimal answer here. So add a zero, add a decimal to the quotient, drop that zero down, and two goes into 10 exactly five times. So our answer here is that $6 a pound is the same as 37.5 or 37 and a half cents per ounce.